The Diplodocus is considered to be one of the longest animals to have ever roamed the earth, but just how big could this dinosaur get? In this video I'll take a closer look at this plant eating giant, coming up. The Diplodocus from the family Diplodocidae belonged to a group of dinosaurs called sauropods. Sauropods were gigantic in size with long necks, long tails, four tree trunk like legs and small heads when compared to the rest of their bodies. The Diplodocus lived around 155 to 145 million years ago during a period of time known as the Late Jurassic. Sauropods thrived during this period in Earth's history and many different species existed. Diplodocus primarily roamed around what is now Western North America. The Diplodocus was first discovered in 1877 by American paleontologist Samuel Wendell Williston and American geologist Benjamin Mudge near Cannon City, Colorado, USA. It was later named by American paleontologist Othniel Charles Marsh in 1878. Large numbers of Diplodocus fossils have been found in Colorado, Montana, Utah and Wyoming in what is known as the Morrison Formation. The Diplodocus, like all sauropods, was enormous and is estimated that an adult could grow to sizes of around 24 to 33 meters, which is 79 to 108 feet. The Diplodocus is one of the longest known dinosaurs from a complete skeleton. However, some scientists believe that Diplodocus could grow much bigger, to around 53 meters, which is 175 feet. Unlike the majority of other sauropods, the Diplodocus had a rather slender build and weighed around 10 to 16 metric tons. That's about the same as two elephants. The majority of the length of Diplodocus was taken up by its long neck and tail. The neck was around 6 meters in length, which is 20 feet, and consisted of at least 15 vertebrae. The tail was much longer and consisted of around 80 vertebrae and probably served as a counterbalance for its head and long neck. The tail of Diplodocus was very unusual when compared to that of other sauropods, outside of the Diplodocid family. The underside of the tail consisted of double beamed chevron bones. These double beamed bones are where the dinosaur gets its name from. Diplodocus translates as double beamed lizard. These bones probably helped protect the vertebrae and blood vessels in the tail as the Diplodocus was able to rear up on its back legs. This was rather easy for Diplodocus to do as its centre of gravity would have been near the back of the dinosaur. The Diplodocus was a quadruped and walked on four legs. The front legs were slightly shorter than the back legs and this gave the dinosaur a more horizontal posture. This posture and the centre of gravity near the back of the dinosaur would have made the Diplodocus a slow animal. It walked at speeds of around 5 to 9 miles per hour, which is 8 to 14 kilometers per hour. Diplodocus was a herbivore, a plant eating dinosaur, and lived and traveled in herds, much like elephants do today. Its diet consisted of low lying plants, including moss and ferns, and soft leaves from trees. Diplodocus could rear up on its back legs so it was able to reach the leaves on the tallest trees. Diplodocus had numerous small peg like teeth at the front of its mouth, and the dinosaur used these teeth to strip leaves from the trees. Due to the high silica content in their diet from leaves and plants, their teeth didn't last very long and were replaced every 35 days or so, in the same way sharks replaced their teeth. A Diplodocus had to consume a great deal of food to aid its growth. The dinosaur was constantly growing throughout its entire life and reached adulthood after only 10 years. During their early life, the Diplodocus was vulnerable to predators like the Allosaurus, but a healthy, fully grown Diplodocus most probably had no natural enemies due to their enormous size. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like, it really does help the channel out. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing, and I'll catch you next time. This is far from the end. You're gonna be back for more.